In this video, we'll show you where you can initiate a transfer in the app, as well as demonstrate how to initiate a transfer and make the most out of this feature. New to transfers? Here's a quick recap of where you can initiate a transfer from. From your inventory dashboard, you can view your recent transfers to get a high-level overview of what's happening across your tool inventory and jobs, or start a transfer. You can also create a transfer from here. You can view your transfers at a job site level by clicking into Places, then selecting one of your places. Recent transfers to and from this location can be seen here, or you can start a transfer. You can also view transfers at the individual team member level by clicking into People, then selecting a team member. You'll see their recent transfers, and you can create a new transfer. Now, let's show you how to initiate a new transfer and take advantage of some of the new improvements. When you select Transfers along the navigation menu in the left-hand side of your screen, you can select to start a new transfer or view your transfer history. Let's start a new transfer. On the Create Transfer screen, there's some new functionality we've added. You can tap Learn More to learn about some of these new features, such as being able to schedule your transfers, our new and improved search, the ability to customize your items and your transfers by the way you'd like them to be displayed, as well as being able to take advantage of the full screen in search. Let's create that transfer. First, when setting up your transfer, select the destination you're sending it to. This field used to be called Place. Next, you'll select a date for this transfer. In addition to today's date, you can also select a date in the future, allowing you to schedule future transfers. And don't worry, if you need to cancel a future dated transfer after it's initially created, doing so is easy, and we'll show you how after this transfer has been created. You'll also be able to mark a future dated transfer complete if it ends up getting transferred sooner than expected. We'll show you how to do that, too. You can also add a recipient for this transfer for added accountability. You can change the status of the tools that are being transferred. You can also set a division to signal which team is taking ownership of these tools. We've also added the ability to add notes to your transfer. You can use this field as a reference when looking back on these transfers later providing context on the transfer. And this is also why we recommend adding details in these notes, as they could prove invaluable later on. Now, it's time to decide what you're sending. You can elect to collapse the transfer information section if you'd like to take advantage of the full screen view while adding items. Across the top, now you'll see a search bar. Previously, this screen was automatically filled with inventory but we've added advanced search functionality that now lets you find things easier by typing in a keyword. You can, for example, search by typing in a keyword, such as drill or impact, to yield all items relevant to this search query. You can type in the name of a place to yield all items related to this place's name. You can also scroll down to find the specific place you've searched to open all items in this place's inventory. Similarly, you can type a person's name to yield all items related to their name, or find them to open their assigned inventory from this search. Additionally, you can use Display Only to add search parameters, and narrow down what displays as you type in a keyword or phrase. Add up to 1,000 items to this transfer, and green check marks will display by them as they're added to your cart. When you search for the items you want to add in this transfer, you can also select the gear indicator on the far right-hand side of your screen to change the columns that appear. You can select up to 10 display options based on what you find important to display. At the top of the screen, you'll also notice we've added an overview section, which gives you some important high-level information, such as how many people or job sites are affected by this transfer. When you're ready to complete the transfer, you can select either Submit or Submit and Print, the latter which will open a PDF report in a new tab for easy access. Saving or printing off a PDF copy of your transfer is a great way for a team member to physically sign off on your transfer before they leave the crit. Or you'll have the file as a reference you can attach to an email to a stakeholder for added accountability. But don't worry, if you find that you need a print off of this transfer later, it can be accessed in your transfer history. Let's now show you some improvements we've made to transfer history. When you tap into your transfer history, you'll now see a much more robust chronicling of both completed and upcoming transfers. 
you can use the filters at the top of your screen to narrow down what displays if you're looking for a specific transfer. You can filter down to transfers at specific places, or you can get even more granular. You can filter transfers associated with specific people, or even transfers created by specific people. You can filter by transfers associated to certain places, status, or divisions if you're looking for items associated with a certain team. You can filter down by transfer state if you want to, for example, find all upcoming transfers. Transfer states include upcoming, completed, and canceled. Outside of filters, you can apply a specific date range or use the search bar to search by keyword or phrase. If you want to drill down into a specific transfer to inspect it, hover over the transfer item and a blue overflow icon will appear. If you're looking at a completed transfer, using the overflow icon gives you two options. You can select View Transfer, which will take you to a screen that shows you this transfer as it was made on the date of its creation and give you all the information you may need to understand why the transfer was made. You can also use the overflow icon to view that PDF printoff we mentioned and save it on your computer. If you're looking at an upcoming transfer on the other hand, there are a couple additional options. In addition to being able to view the transfer or its PDF to familiarize yourself with this transfer, you can also mark it completed if the transfer has occurred faster than scheduled. You can also cancel the transfer if it's no longer needed. Doing this will revert the items to their previous assignments. We've helped to add more accountability by making transfers more seamless. With more robust transfer functionality, tool teams are empowered to automate inventory logistics while being able to reference back on their tool sends with much greater context. For more helpful tips like this, please subscribe below and click on another video to keep watching.